Hello, this is Dr. Leo Kormanik with Running Rehab. Today I'm going to go over an exercise called the Seated March. Basically, you're going to use a physio ball like this, and you're going to be in just this position here where you're sitting on the edge. And what you're going to do is you're basically in this position going to march with your legs just like this. Okay? Now this is a really important exercise to create coordination between the core muscles and the hip flexors. So a lot of the runners that I treat, they have a lot of really tight hip flexors because they have poor stability through the actual glutes. What this is trying to do, this is basically trying to get the transverse abdominis, this muscle group through here, to stabilize with the obliques, to coordinate hip flexion, so that we're not overloading the front part of the hip. Now this exercise is harder than it looks. Basically what you're trying to do is not sway too much with the ball like that. So you're not trying to let the ball move a lot like that. So you're trying to be nice and tall through the core, locking through the abdomen, and trying to lift the leg with as little movement of the ball as possible. So basically you're going to want to do it, you'll kind of almost sink like this. That's not what you want. You want to be nice and tall, and then slow lift so that you're only stabilizing on one foot. Now this side and the left side is much harder. So you can see it takes a little bit of practice. See how I kind of want to tip my torso? You should just want to stay nice and upright. And it's hard on the left side. There we go, a little bit better. And then basically hold that position. So it's, it's a lot of coordination through here. I'm holding this because you can use something called the Core 360, but honestly you could use a belt. Basically, you're going to put this around your waist, and this will work as an external cue to get you to fire the muscles through your core here. So you can see I'm applying pressure through the belt that way. When I apply pressure through the belt that way, that allows me to stabilize my core better. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing my abdomen out, which is activating the transverse abdominis that takes pressure off the obliques and the transverse and allows my hip flexors to do hip flexion. So now my hip flexors don't have to be recruited as a stabilizer. That's what we're really ultimately trying to do. The problem with running injuries in the front of the hip is that the hip flexor is being recruited as a stabilizer and then it also has to be recruited to lift the hip, to flex the hip. It's hard to do both jobs at once. So basically what we're really trying to do here is just get it to do the one job of hip flexion while providing core activation and stability through the core with the transverse abdominis and the obliques. So you have to push your core out this way and coordinate flexion of the hip. Basically if you did this daily, you know, three uh, sets of 15 to 20 reps, nice good activation, focusing on really good repetitions rather than just kind of flying through it and marching. It's slow, it's controlled, and it's really important for anybody with like sports hernias, hip impingements, hip flexor strains, this is perfect for you. Thank you.